Hey, this is my Algebra 1 project. The way that I'm going to be showing these equations is by video, and there are eight problem topics, as you can see right there. We'll get started right away. Enjoy! The first problem is multi-step equations. So we have ourselves an equation 2x plus 9x plus 3 equals 93. So the first thing we're going to do is distribute the 9x and the 3. So that'll make us have 9x plus 2x plus 27 equals 93. We subtract 27 from both sides. That makes 11x equals 66. We divide by 11 so that we have x by itself. And that equals 6. We can check our problem by plugging in the x for the problem and that gets us 93 equals 93 so we know our answer is correct. In our second problem we have infinite solutions, no solution, and one solution. So our first problem is 9x minus 2, 3x minus 8 equals 3x plus 19 minus 3. So we distribute and we have 9x minus 6x plus 16 equals 3x plus 19 minus 3 and then we have 3x plus 19 equals 3x plus 19 minus 3 and that gets us infinite solutions now this is an example of no solutions we have 3x plus 12 3x plus 16 that is no solutions for our third problem we have absolute values so for this we're going to have negative 3 and then isolated 4x minus 6 equals negative 30. So we need to isolate 4x minus 6. So we divide negative 3 by both sides, which gives us 4x minus 6 equals 10. From here, we can do the other side of the equation. So it's 4x minus 6 equals negative 10. We add 6 to all the sides. It gives us 4x equals 16. The other one is 4x equals negative 4. Divide by 4. So the first one is x equals 4. And the second one is x equals negative 1. So we have x equals, and in these special brackets, 4, comma, negative 1. And that is our answer. Now, if we were just to have the isolated value already, and it would equal a negative for the other side, that's not good, and it just equals 0, because we can't do anything from there. Problem 4, literal equations. So we have a n equals b pi, and we're going to solve for a. That's what our goal is. So we divide both sides by n so that we have a by itself, and that's the answer. a equals b pi divided by n. It's a pretty easy one. Problem 5, word problems. So the larger of two numbers is 4 less than the smaller number. If the sum of the two numbers is 28 find the numbers so this can be a complicated one depending on how you look at it so we're gonna let s equal the smaller number and we're gonna let s minus 4 equal the larger number and that's our formula so we have s plus s minus 4 because there's the s and then it's the s minus 4 equals 28 plus and then we add 4 to both sides to get 2s equals 32 then you divide by 2 on both sides so the smaller number equals 16. Now we have to find out what the larger number is. So we plug it in, and 6 minus 4 is the larger number, and our answer is 16, 12. Problem 6, interval notation. So we ha set up our equation is 3, 2x plus 5 is greater than 27. So we're going to distribute evenly so that it gets us 6x plus 3. 15 and is greater than 27 and we subtract 15 from both sides so that we're left with 6x is greater than 12 we divide by 6 on both sides to get x by itself and that gives us x is greater than 2 but we're not done yet so now that we have our answer we're going to um, set up a quick graph and this formula right here, x if x is greater than 1, then the arrow is going to be pointing towards the right. So we're going to set up our quick graph diagram. And we have it labeled across there. We're doing an open circle 
because it is not greater than equal to it's just greater than and so we're pointing it the other way because that's how our formula is and our interval notation is 2 comma infinity problem 7 solving inequalities so we're going to set up our, set up our equation x minus 4 is greater than 3 or 3x is less than or equal to 9 we're going to add 4 to both sides and then divide by 3 on both sides for the other one so that way we have x is greater than 7 or x is less than or equal to 3 but we're not done yet so we're going to need to set up a line graph to be able to graph that equation so we have it going through negative 10 through 10 and then we have our interval notation blank so we're going to put a filled circle for x is less than or equal to 3 and it's going to go the other way because it's less than or equal to and then we have an open circle for x is greater than 7 and our interval notation is negative infinity comma 3 bracket or 7 comma infinity so for our last problem absolute value inequalities we have 2 isolated 2x plus 6 is less than 20 and then we have and it needs to be isolated first we need to isolate 2x plus 6 first so it's 2x plus 6, we divide by both sides, is less than 10. And then we actually, for the second equation, we're actually flipping the sign because it's the second equation. But, and we're also adding a negative. So it's 2x plus 6 is greater than negative 10. So next we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. That gets us 6x is less than 4, and 2x is greater than negative 16. We divide by 2. x is less than 2, and x is greater than negative 8. And then we have our answer set up in that sort of way. So we're going to make our line graph, and it's going to go from negative 8 through 8. And we put two open circles on negative 8 and 2. And then we connect the two because it's all one equation. And our interval notation is negative 8, 2, because they're connected and they don't go on forever.